The last two years have been game changers for the Hindi film industry in several ways. There have been a lot of films that broke several barriers and myths that exist in the industry. It all began with Bahubali, The Conclusion, which despite being a regional film became the first film to surpass the 500 crore rupees mark at the box office from the Hindi markets. What makes this achievement even more precious is the fact that the film set this humongous record on a non-holiday. Bahubali, The Conclusion was the perfect example of cinema being a director's medium. The film was devoid of any Hindi film superstars, and the only reason why it managed to do the historic business was because of the storytelling by S.S. Rajmali. He created the moments that everyone in the country, right from classes to the masses, could relate to. While a lot of people in the trade thought that Bahubali 2 was on exception and cinema is still a superstars medium, six months later came Sanjay Leela Bansali's Padmavit. After successful films like Ramli and Bajirao Mastani, Sanjay Leela Bansali became a brand, especially for the films riding on period setup. He was undoubtedly one of the biggest factors that grabbed the audience eyeballs along with Ranveer Singh and Deepika Padukone. The film commanded a positive word of mouth and managed to do the impossible i.e. raked in 300 crore rupees at the box office in India. An interesting point to note here is the fact that it collected this amount with a release in Gujarat and Rajasthan. Point six months after the release of Padmavit came Sanju. Rajkumar Harani is the biggest brand director of Bollywood and without second thoughts he was responsible for a considerable chunk of opening day collections. His storytelling format i.e. Roller coaster ride of laughter and emotion struck chord with the audience and helped Sanju record a strong trend at the box office. Sanju emerged one of the biggest blockbusters of all time on a non-holiday and is looking to end lifetime collections in the range of 337 rupees to 340 crore. No doubts, Ranbir Kapoor is a major star and delivered a phenomenal performance in Sanju, but it is Harani's storytelling that got the audience on board in the long run. The three films rewrote all rules as far as film business and concerned. These films proved that with the right content that appeals to the pan-Indian audience, you neither need Eid, Diwali or Christmas weekend nor Amir Khan, Salman Khan or Shah Rukh Khan to rake in those historic numbers. All that you need is a strong content and a sellable star cast. In Padmavit, it was strong content with Ranveer Singh and Deepika Padukone, whereas in Sanju, it was strong content with Ranveer Kapoor. With so many big films slated to release in the coming few years, we are set to witness the new era of Bollywood.